Hey, did you see this news headline? Tax credits for clean energy could soon vanish. Let me be clear, this isn't a maybe thing. The 30% solar tax credit is ending December 31st. It was passed by Congress, signed into law, and it's already on the books. So as someone who's lived off-grid for 25 years and helped a lot of folks do the same, I'll bet you never guess how I feel about this. But you might actually be surprised. The Ready Light into the country. If you're new here, I'm Nick from The Ready Life, and my family's been off-grid for over 25 years. And we help people like you build systems that give you more control over your basic necessities like power, water, heat, and food. I'm not a global warming guy. I'm not a fossil fuel guy. I'm a self-reliance guy. I care about clean air because it keeps people healthy, not because I think CO2 is gonna make the sky fall. And I care about solar because it's the most practical way for you and me to stop being so dependent upon huge corporations for our power. So here's why this story matters. For the past couple of years, that 30% tax credit has made it way more affordable to install solar power systems with battery backup. Actually, it's been more than a couple of years, either as off-grid or backup hybrid system if the grid fails. Now, this isn't a deduction. This is a dollar-for-dollar -dollar tax credit. If you spend $10,000 on a system, you reduce your tax bill by $3,000. That's real money. But to qualify, you don't just have to buy gear, you have to have it installed and operational before the end of this year, December 31st. And after that, it's over. The truth is, the government's been picking winners and losers in energy for decades. You know, fossil fuels, nuclear, ethanol, they've all gotten support. And this solar tax credit was one of the few tools that actually helped regular people like us to get control of their own energy. And now, we're pulling it away at the exact moment when our power grid is under more stress than it's ever been before. Here's the part that a lot of folks don't realize. The Department of Energy is saying that if things keep going the way that they are, Americans could be facing over a month of blackouts every year by 2030. Just imagine what it would be like to spend a whole month every year without power. That's up from an average of around eight hours per year of blackouts. And it makes sense when you look at what's happening. Energy demand is exploding. AI, data centers, electric vehicles, even the way we heat our homes is shifting. Here's the problem. A lot of our old workhorse power plants are being retired every year. And there is some new production scheduled for power generation, but most of it is in the form of renewables, which are intermittent. Solar doesn't work at night. Wind doesn't blow on demand. And we don't have the storage capacity at scale to bridge those gaps. And that's why our grid still relies heavily on baseload power like coal, gas, hydro, and nuclear. They keep the lights on when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining. So I don't see the solar tax credit as really making a significant difference with this energy crisis that we're facing. But on a personal level, it can make an enormous difference because it can make it financially feasible for an American family to gain control of their power and not be at the mercy of some huge corporation for their ability to get water, heat their home, cook their food, and more. So that's where the solar tax credit could make a huge difference. But here's what really gets me. Most of the systems that were funded by this tax credit provided zero energy independence. And that's because 90% of systems that have been installed are grid tied. And guess what happens when the grid goes down? Yeah, that's right, your solar shuts off. So you're back to square one and you spent all that money and you still can't run your fridge, your well pump, your lights, unless the grid's working. A properly designed solar with battery backup system doesn't do that. It keeps your essentials running during blackouts. It gives you control, but most people don't even realize that's an option until it's too late. So if you've been sitting on the fence, maybe waiting until the prices drop or the process feels less overwhelming, this is it. You've got until December 31st to decide what kind of system you need, buy the right gear, not just what's popular, and get it installed and operational or else you won't qualify for the credit and after that there's no 30 percent you're on your own and that's why we're putting together a free video series called blackout proof it's going to walk you through the the whole process step by step from start to finish from 
picking the right system to getting it installed and claiming your credit and all of that. We just wanna help as many people as possible take advantage of this before it's gone. And you can register for free at getblackoutproof.com and get access to the training, the checklists, and all the resources we're building right now. This isn't about being green or politics or any of that. It's about being ready and not dependent on a grid that's already starting to crack. So if you've ever thought about setting up backup power or going fully off grid, this is your last best shot to do it with some help from your tax dollars. So head on over to getblackoutproof.com, get signed up and we'll walk you through it. And I'll be starting this uh, series in the next week or two, so I'll see you there.